The Cowboys have made yet another move today. Josh Butler, the former USFL cornerback, has signed with the Dallas Cowboys. The roster is now at 90 men, just in time for the start of Cowboys training camp, which will get going in full tomorrow. A little at-home edition of the Dallas Cowboys report. I had to get home to take care of baby Olivia. My wife's out of town, so... Uh, beginning, we'll have this non-graphic stuff. We are we are going to overlay a couple of, of stat stuff and, and other information just to keep it a little bit more fresh, but this is the only way the video is going to get done. So fourth Cowboys video, actually, of the day. Uh, we did surprise cut candidates this morning. We then did the Zach Martin holdout news where we actually discussed Josh Butler because he had a workout today. We did that going in. Uh, if you watched that video, not many did. There was no push uh, notification on YouTube, so that was a bit disappointing, but uh, we did break that down. I'll link it in the comment section, by the way. It'll be in, in the description, too. Uh, we did break down some of Josh Butler. I said, good chance he signs. You know, Cowboys working somebody out on the eve of, of training camp. Probably a good indication they want to bring him into the roster, uh, which is what we had mostly expected to be. Uh, you know, you work someone out the day before, you're probably going to end up signing them. Now it's official. We'll break it down in depth here. Plus, this should get a push notification. So it's all uh, it's all worth it there in the end. And then we did the Trayvon Diggs extension. So four Cowboys videos in a span of like 12 hours. Kind of crazy. A lot even 12 from that perspective. So a busy day here on the Cowboys Report. This is why you guys should make sure you are subscribed. Free Cowboys videos sometimes four times a day. That is, a, I believe, a... Uh, a record uh, on the Cowboys report for most videos uh, in a day. But we will break down the Josh Butler signing here. He played last season for the Michigan Panthers in the USFL. Uh, so it, the, this is a camp body signing. Look, Jordan Lewis is on injured or is on the pup list. He's going to miss some time. We'll see when he's cleared to go. Nashawn Wright has been a bit banged up, but he was not on the pup list, which makes me think he'll be fine or should be good to go there. But you're going to give you know Stephon Gilmore some some veteran rest days. They clearly wanted one more corner since C.J. Goodwin's basically just a special teamer at this stage. And I guess in the end they liked enough of what they saw from Butler. A, in the USFL, B, in the workout to justify bringing him into the Cowboys uh, for training camp. Very long shot to make the roster. This is probably a maybe practice squad option uh, for the Dallas Cowboys. But I think it was Michael Gelkin who had mentioned earlier on in the offseason that they were looking at maybe one more corner. This now gets the roster up to 90. They can always make more moves if they need to. No contract details. Again, I'll make note, Butler has not signed a deal in the past. Uh, so this is going to be a, a three-year deal most likely because it's a, it's basically a, a UDFA signing uh, for all practical purposes here for the Dallas Cowboys and for Josh Butler. So first question of the day, have you heard of Josh Butler before the news that he signed? If you saw it from Todd Archer on Twitter, if you saw our video, that still counts. But go vote in the comment section. Why for yes and for no have you heard of Josh Butler in the past? It's the pinned comment, so if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. All right, more here on Butler. We'll break down some of his stats uh, from his time, beginning with the USFL. Shout out to John Owning, a uh, good Cowboys follow on Twitter, by the way, uh, who had the USFL stats that I could not find. He found them. Maybe he has the PFF Ultimate that tracked it. Who knows? Um, targeted 50 times in coverage this past season for the Michigan Panthers. He allowed 28 receptions, 363 yards, four touchdowns. 104.3 passer rating, which yeah, I don't really think matters that much from the Cowboys' perspective. It's passer rating. It's not exactly a uh, a great metric to determine how good a player was at corner, but whatever. Four touchdowns allowed, if I didn't mention that. Five. He called it forced to completions. Just going to call it pass breakups. That's, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. It's weird because if you go to the USFL website for their stats, it's not tracked very well, and it, Josh does not appear despite having enough to qualify, so it's super, I don't know, that, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but that those were his numbers for John Winning, and I trust him completely there. Again, played for the Michigan Panthers in the USFL. In college, played for the Michigan State Spartans. Didn't play a ton in his time there, was kind of a high or part-time player in total over five years four seasons of actually playing plus there was the COVID year mixed in there so a little bit different 
52 tackles, three TFLs, 11 pass breakups, zero interceptions. So over the course of his career, uh, Butler is not an interception yet. Maybe that'll change change in the Cowboys preseason. That sure uh, that sure would be nice there. So Butler joins a Cowboys cornerback room that overall is pretty darn good. Um, I think all things considered, it's a very quality room here. So grade the Cowboys cornerback room. A, B, C, D, or F. Go vote for me in the comment section right now. Looking now at the Cowboys cornerback room. Overall in really good shape now. Uh, Trayvon Diggs signed. He's not going anywhere for the Dallas Cowboys. Big news on that front there. Today we broke it down. Check the comment section description or just... Make sure you're subscribed, right? Stefan Gilmore, the veteran addition. That's in really good, uh, a really good smart pickup for the Cowboys to help them out uh, with where things currently sit. Deron Bland, I'm excited about him entering year two. Showed some really good ability as a rookie. Uh, might The interception might regress, but I think he'll still be really good from that perspective. And then you've got camp battle guys, right? you got Nashawn Wright. you got Kelvin Joseph. You've got... You know, Eric Scott, you've got Jordan Lewis if he's healthy. So in the end, I do still think this is going to be more of a camp battle situation and maybe more of a practice squad option for the Dallas Cowboys with the addition of Josh Butler. But I do think it's a smart move for the Cowboys to add another cornerback just to get through the preseason. This is not a sexy move. I know it'll not make maybe everyone happy, but it does benefit Dallas just to get through the remainder of the upcoming preseason. Surprise, baby Olivia. Say hi, Olivia. Can you say hi? Say hi. There you go. She made an appearance too because I'm watching her and I couldn't distract her for the entire time of the video to uh, do the do it for you guys. But say hi. Okay, you're going to go away now. She's going to say bye. Again, the news of the day, Josh Butler signs with the Dallas Cowboys. Overshadowed as we sit here filming, by the way, uh, with the Justin Herbert extension. Two years, six, or five years, six. $262.5 million. He's now the highest paid player and quarterback in NFL history. Should not impact Dak Prescott. So he was, oh, I don't think he's going to be the highest paid guy. I'd be shocked. It wouldn't make much sense to me if he was the highest paid guy. Uh, but did want to make note of that. Joe Burrow should not be far behind. Uh, and in theory, also, the Cowboys are not done making moves on their own yet either uh, with where they're currently at. They should be able to sign some more players. As Olivia, you want to play golf? You you want to golf? Can you show them what you have? You've got golf balls today, huh? Mm. Yeah, golf balls. We'll, we'll we'll play golf in a little bit. Can you tell she's my daughter? Anyway, help make sure she's well fed. She's already underweight because she's not a big eater anyway. Say bye. Say bye. Make sure you guys are subscribed for more free Cowboys videos. Normally not featuring baby Olivia.